Do you all know how I feel as a disabled person in the school? During recess, when all of you play in the canteen, I was in the classroom having food in my helper. When you all went for swimming lessons, I was left alone in the classroom. When others see me, they will give me a weird face and stare at me. I will just ignore because it's better to ignore. Crawling on the floor to the bathroom is dirty, but I have no choice because my father can't carry me to the bathroom. Kalau saya melihat Tamimi berjalan di lantai, saya saya merasa sedih. Tapi saya pun harus kasih Tamimi berdikari sendiri untuk masa depan dia nanti. I need to wear diapers because I can't uh, get up uh, to the toilet and the toilet bowl is very slippery. Jangan sampai dia terjatuh, terkuat mengangkat dia. Kalau kita terkuat mengangkat dia, dia punya tulang akan retak. Excited lah. Huh? Okay lah, take care of sitting in school, okay? Don't naughty, okay? okay? Good boy. Okay. When we walk outside, they say that, oh, this boy is naughty. That's why he's fall down and he's on cars. This is a karma for what you have done. This is this really hurt me. Before he able to stand up from the wheelchair, but this time no. He needs a transport which is wheelchair accessible. My occupation is as an admin club and my husband works as a production operator. Both of our combined income is around 5k per month. Middle income is not easy to get help. I have here with me to date uh, Serena as well as Tamimi. I raised a crowdfunding website to pay for his transport. My target for the crowdfunding is 9006 Right now, I stay short of around 3K, so I have to make adjustment on my monthly expenditures. Ini lagi kita harus bayar mi punya daycare center dua bulan. Duit bawa telefon dia minta bayar satu bulan dulu lah. Nanti ada duit baru bayar satu bulan lagi lah. Hmm. Habis sistem ini bagaimana? No need to go to school lah, because uh, there's nothing there to do. No lesson. No lesson at all. You sure there is no lesson? It's just playing games and there's no lessons. Why not just stay at home and keep the money for future, not for the future? I feel sorry for my parents um, because they have to take care of me all the time. Sometimes I got spend money, I go bring Tamimi go to the fishing. Jadi kalau saya lihat Tamimi uh, memancing happy, saya pun happy jadi lupa segalanya, segala beban derita selama inilah. So stingray. Wow, stingray. Apa cita-cita adik nanti adik dah besar? Artis. Artis. Ya. Then adik boleh boleh bikin tak? Boleh. Uh -huh. Nah, you must confident right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. 
Drawing is my hobby and it's a fun thing to do. In my drawings, I would like to draw this character called Sheep. When it looks nice, I feel happy. My birthday wish this year is to have many many cars and to graduate and go to secondary school. <laughs> when I was in the hall, I felt nervous and scared that I had to repeat and I cannot go to secondary school. When I get my result, I felt very happy because I get a score of 160. I got A for Malay, C for English, E for Science and Math. I was shocked to see that he able to go to normal academic in secondary school, which I never expected at all. I'm really, really happy. And my heart from the beginning of the year already said that Tamimi can do it. Then together and smile. Ya terima pada apa apa adanya lah. Jadi ada tak ada just kita continue aja lah untuk kehidupan kita masa depan. I always tell myself that I want Tamimi future will be better than me and to be success in any way.